Hey there, Scorpios, and welcome back for another Scorpio Tarot reading here, Scorpio. Uh, thank you guys so much for your support, Scorpio. I really do appreciate you. I hope this video finds you in high vibrational energy, Scorpio. After all, Scorpio is its own vibe, Scorpio. So like I said, Scorpio, it's a general, so it's not going to resonate with everyone who views this video. So use your intuition. You know more about your situation than brown eyes here. Uh, don't force it in your life because it's unnecessary stress that we all don't need. So this is a love reading, Scorpio. You know, we delve in love over here. Uh, something about that love of a Scorpio that ha that makes you want to come back again and again and again and again and again. I keep seeing a lot of reconciliation in your energy, Scorpio. Don't come for me. I'm just telling you what I've been seeing. But I also see other other admirers, other pursuers coming your way. So um, with the reconciliation, some Scorpios are considering it, while other Scorpios are already uh, entertaining new uh, admirers or new potential partners here. Uh, so let's see what spirit has for you. So your overall energy is the page of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, and Aries energy. So this could be your energy, uh, you know, just kind of carefree. Uh, just, you know, really having fun, not really taking relationships too serious now. Uh, just want to explore your options here. You know, you may be kind of uh, apprehensive about commitments here. Uh, and if it's not you feeling this way, then you have some type of passionate, passionate message coming in to you, Scorpio, in this page of one's energy. All right, Spirit, show me what's coming towards Scorpio in love and in romance. Spirit, what does Scorpio need to know pertaining to love and romance? Spirit, show me. Show me Scorpio. Uh-oh, Scorpio. Pardon me, Scorpio. Let me get it. All right, Scorpio. Ooh, we know we don't want to lose that ace of pentacles. I say it's something about them pentacles, them pentacles. So you do have an opportunity coming your way. Uh, you know, a windflow of money here. It could be in some type of partnership with someone else. Or maybe you're about to venture off and start your new business here, Scorpio. Maybe you're about to move into a new home or relocate or something. Or maybe you've gotten a job that you've always wanted, Scorpio. So let's see. Ooh, you got the Page of Swords. I see, though, somebody watching you, though, Scorpio. Someone is keeping tabs on you, Scorpio. Look who they watching for. Somebody's watching Scorpio here. So it could be someone watching you, Scorpio, saying that, Scorpio, I would love to present Scorpio. I would love an opportunity to get that cup. Somebody saying they would love the opportunity to get that Scorpio cup. They say, you know what? I done heard so many things about that Scorpio cup. And Lord knows I would love the opportunity to get Scorpio's love cup here. Someone is asking about you. Your name is buzzing in somebody's world, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. All right, Spirit, what else is going on with Scorpio's love life? What does Scorpio need to know for Scorpio's highest good, Spirit? Show me Scorpio. Y'all, it's been so hot. All I could do is just go with the flow. Ooh, it's been so hot outside. I'm not, I'm not complaining because... I've learned to take the good with the bad, and it's, you know, it is what it is, Scorpio. But you do have this nine of wands energy here. So you could be blocking something here, or, you know, you could be saying, you know, I've been through a lot of things in these relationships here. Uh, I give it another chance, but it has to be something worth me investing in here. You do have the will of fortune here, Scorpio. I feel like something is a faded event. It could be uh, you're about to get... Um, Something in your favor if you're going to court. And it could also be um, something that's about to take place with a Libra too, Scorpio. Ooh. Somebody wants to restore balance or victory for you, Scorpio. Give you Somebody wants to give you what you want is what I just heard. Somebody's trying to give Scorpio what Scorpio wants because Scorpio deserves it. Ooh, shut up. The lover's card here, Scorpio. Gemini energy. This is a spiritual soulmate connection here, Scorpio. Someone feels spiritually connected to you, Scorpio. Now, this could be you having your choice of lovers here. They're going to Libra again. They're going to Justice again, Scorpio. Ooh, let's see. So, see, someone wants to come in here. Someone, someone may be secretly wanting to come in with you. Could be someone you haven't heard from. Or it could be something going on behind the scenes here, Scorpio. Let's see. 
Because I know in some places they was tell, saying that you can't run your air like that. I'm like, shit, it's damn near 400 degrees outside. They go, your love message. I'm sending you love to you. Hoping that you come home. I know that's not right. Sealing it with the kiss. Sending my love. Somebody is sending their love to you, honey, because they want your love. Somebody is a giver here because we seen that uh, justice card here. Now, this could be someone traveling in or someone looking at you from a distance here or someone wanting to travel to you to present an opportunity to you, Scorpio. And this can also be major things, major completions in your life. So, therefore, you get to enjoy the fruits of your labor too, Scorpio. <laughs> Queen of Wands and the Four of Cups. See, that someone could be very, very attracted to you sexually too, Scorpio. Of course they are. But like I said, I feel like you're holding back. If this is someone who you already have a history by, Scorpio, but then again, this is your overall energy. So for some Scorpios, this Page of Wands or this Nine of Wands happens to do with this Page of Wands. You've been wounded, so you're not going to openly give your heart out. So you may not, you may be taking things kind of slow here. Uh, you know, you may just want to explore your options here. You may not want to rush into anything, but I feel like someone is rushing into you. And as a result, I feel like you may be kind of hesitant and holding back. But there is something that's about to uh, change here with this breakthrough, this Ace of Swords. And it could be you got a soulmate coming in here or someone finna pop up on you from your past. Ooh. Because they want you to give them another chance. Or, like I say, this, this Six of Cups does not necessarily mean someone from this life. Okay? Because look, we already know it's a spiritual connection here. We already know that with this uh, Gemini's card, the Lover's card. But I feel like someone, you're going to have to uh, get ready to take a leap of faith with this one. Because I feel like this is going to be some powerful energy coming your way, Scorpio, with this Fool card. You're going to have to really take a leap of faith. And you're going to have to trust the unknown here. So when I clarify here, you got your clarifying deck, the overall energy is the sun card. So some of you guys are dealing with the Leo, a Gemini. I see a lot of, I see swords energy. Another Scorpio here. So let's see here. Let's start off with this Ace of Swords here. Why is this Ace of Swords here for Scorpio spirit? What does this mean for Scorpio? Clarify this Ace of Swords for Scorpio. Ace of, Ace of Swords is clarified by the Ace of Wands. I heard that shit. Somebody, you finna have a breakthrough and a new beginning here with someone here. Now, it could be your creativity. You could have felt stuck and guarded here. You know, you could have felt like your creative, your creativity was on, uh, on block, kind of halted here. I feel like you felt an energetic tug at you here. But whatever it is, ooh, shut, see? Something is finna happen, see? The Ace of, Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, the Four of Wands. This is like a twin flame connection here. This is a celebratory energy, a have fun. Um, your, your, your relationship elevating here to a more committed relationship. So I feel like whoever this is, if you don't already have a history with this person, I feel like this is someone who's coming in to create this with you. A breakthrough. So if you felt like your love life was stagnant and you decided to hold back and resist uh, because of the options wasn't all that good, holding back, then I feel like there is a major breakthrough coming in your love life, Scorpio, and it's going to give you the fulfillment and the commitment you've always desired here. Clarify this Ace of Swords for Scorpio. Ooh, shut your mouth. There go the lovers again. Ooh. See there? Now, this is someone coming in. Now, either this is someone coming in that is saying, look here, baby, I choose you. I feel like you're the one for me with this four of wands because someone is serious. So I don't feel like it's, it's, it has to do with another lover on their end. I feel like they're already establishing that it's you with this four of wands. See, if they wasn't serious, they would have came in here, I feel like, you know, with the thing in the hand, even though it's the lover's card, but they want their in-house. See, they trying to they trying to create a, a safe haven for you guys' this love life here, as well as other things. But this person is so connected to you, so drawn to you, Scorpio, 
that I feel like this person is willing to do whatever it takes just to get you in their life, Scorpio. Look at what you have. You have the Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Four of Wands, and the Lovers card here. This is this is some very, very intense, uh, passionate love energy here, Scorpio. Ooh, and it could be, I don't know, it could be a soulmate from a past life here that's finally coming back to uh, complete a cycle with you because we did see the world card here, see? Somebody's coming in here to complete the cycle with you. And I feel like it was supposed to be in a committed, it's supposed to be in a relationship here. So let's see about this four of pentacles. Who is holding back or who is holding on here? Clarify the four of pentacles for Scorpio. <clears throat> Clarify this four of pentacles spirit. Four of pentacles is clarified by the moon card. Now I feel like that's you. You're holding back because of the unknown. You say you be god dang if you get this cup out one more god dang time and then you start finding out the bullshit about folks. You say you rather hold back and just and, and just love yourself in this Queen of Cups energy because it's the fear of the unknown, the unseen things that keeps you uh, holding back, Scorpio. And the fear of being done wrong, you say you refuse to get uh, stabbed in the back again, Scorpio. Clarify this Four of Pentacles for Scorpio. Oh, King of Swords here. Now, some of y'all dealing with the Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius here. Now, either this person, either you're holding back from a King of Swords because you don't know everything about this person. This person is not making you feel safe. But with this Ace of Swords, this could very well be the King of Swords trying to come in here and, and show you. This could be the hidden thing here that's, that's going on here. Because uh, I feel like, because we know with the King of Swords, they're, they're not all over the place with their emotions here. They're logical when they come. It's like they can always think of some type of mental way to explain away uh, the spiritual things here. They always have a logical uh, mindset towards things here. And so I feel like whoever this person is, I feel like it could be an air sign here. You could be holding back from this king of swords because of the unknown with this person. All the while, this person is giving you the impression because they're not open up with their emotions like you like them to be. Because after all, you're sitting here as the Queen of Cups. You could feel like you're going to hold back, but it could very well be the same King of Swords is behind the scenes having a breakthrough. Because they're deciding, and now this King of Swords could have been in, in a relationship with someone else with the Lover's card here. But it seems like they're having some type of breakthrough and they're deciding that it's you. They say it's you, Scorpio, because they said they ain't found nobody like this. It's something about your energy, Scorpio. Ooh. It's that this, it's this spiritual connection with this person that they've never seen. You got it double. You got two lovers card as well as the six of cups. See, this person feels safe at home with you. If this is a person from your past here, let's say if it's a person from your past, then they feel safe with you. But even if it's a new person here, it's something about your energy that makes them feel like home. It's like they feel like they feel love with you. And they can't explain it because it is spiritual. And I feel like this person may work a lot to, to try to um, hide their emotions here. But I feel like you're the only thing that's on this person's mind. And it could also be that even though there's things you don't know about this person, oh, this person could be a father figure here too. This person could be a daddy here. Oh, this person wants to take charge and work things out with you, Scorpio, or work on a connection with you. Give me one more card for this Four of Pentacles. Look, Four of Pentacles. So it's like you holding back and they holding back. <laughs> oh, you holding back and they holding back. It could be that this King of Swords was with the Queen of Pentacles. This could be partly why you, so for some Scorpios, if you are dealing with a person, they don't even have to be a, a air sign. But it seems like you're holding back because of things that you don't know and because of the fears associated with this person because they so detached. And then clarify the King of Swords, you got the Four of Pentacles. So it could be that this King of Swords is holding, it could be that you're holding back from this King of Swords while this King of Swords is holding on to you, especially if they're trying to come in here and have some type of commitment with you. Give me one more card for this Four Pentacles spirit. The devil here, see? I feel like this person is obsessively holding on to you. And then it could be that someone is holding on to this person. 
Ooh, let me get one more card. So some of y'all dealing with a Capricorn here. Okay. So it could be another person involved, Scorpio, with the Seven of Swords. This is why you're holding back from this person because of the unseen things, the unknown things. You say you don't want to, you, you can't deal with nobody who you, you can't see through because that's your biggest thing. You can see through people, your intuition, but with this person so detached, you can't see it. And either this person has addictions or, or, or attachment with another relationship that keeps them, uh, they could be holding back from you. It seems like physically they're holding back because of some other attachment, yet I feel like if this isn't them, this you got a whole new relationship coming in here anyway. So whether this person gives you what you want or not, you still got someone coming in, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio. Let me look at this for a moment. Hold on, Scorpio. I feel like this Four of Pentacles is you. You're going to hold back and keep to yourself. After all, I feel like this Nine of Wands is your energy. Now, the Moon card is fear. It's uh, illusions, things, the fear of the unknown. Fear of the unknown because someone is not expressing how they feel. You're trying to figure them out and you can't see through them. And I feel like it's, it's for a reason. This is a spiritual connection here. I feel like spirit is making you work for this. But it could be that this king of swords is holding them back because of their own insecurities or because they're attached to someone else. But with this lover's card, they clearly are choosing you. With this ace of wands, see? See, they, they having a breakthrough. It's almost like they're realizing who is the one for them with this lover's card and this four of wands here. Ooh, so I feel like whoever this person is, Scorpio, you ain't got nothing to worry about based on what I see. But let me keep on here. So this person may be stepping out on their person here. You could have met someone and you knew that they were involved with someone or you, you're not knowing everything because this person doesn't emotionally show you themselves. You may be in your head thinking that they are in this energy. But with this devil card, something is going on. I feel like they're, they're attached to somebody else here. So the six of cups here, that's your energy, Scorpio. Clarify the six of cups for Scorpio. Why is the six of cups here, spirit? Six of Cups, ooh, it's clarified by the Emperor. There the Emperor go again. So you could be dealing with the Aries here. So this person wants to wants to take control. They want to take initiative. They want to take action here. Uh, it's like this person wants to come back to you. And now this person could be really, really thinking about you, missing you. Uh, you know, or, or this person, all they do is think about you because, see, they want to come in here and offer you their cup of love here. I feel like this person is timid in their emotions here, especially if they were acting as the king of swords, then this person is not readily open with their emotions. But being that they're trying to get out of that because they want this new beginning with you, this person is going to take control and they're going to come in here and offer you their cup. Now, this person could be a little bit younger than you or you're more advanced in your emotions than this person because after all, they're showing up in the King of Swords, very reserved, very distant. You can't read them because they're not showing their hands here. Give me one more card for this Six of Cups. Six of Cups. Ooh, the Sun card. They say you... Ooh, Scorpio, they say, damn, you, you make them happy though. It's like they, see, I feel like this person could be with somebody else that they're not happy with. And look, I look, I'm just telling you what I see. I don't need to hear you trying to tell me what I see. You read the, you go get your own cards and you read them and get what you say. But over here, I'm telling you what brown eyes intuitions is seeing. This person, even though they're not showing you a lot, even though you may have reservations because you don't see a lot from this person on the emotional level or even... Because this, this king of swords usually tells you the truth. So I feel like if this person has been talking to you, maybe you haven't been paying attention. But I feel like since this person is more reserved, you don't trust it. But energetically, they look at you as someone who really, really makes them happy. And they want to make you happy. Ooh, they want to make you happy. I told you somebody want to make you happy, Scorpio. They go that world card again. Like I say, this person may be ending a, a completing a cycle here, or this person could be traveling from out of state or out of from a different place here. Now, what's up with this eight of wands? This is love messages. Uh, something moving forward very quickly here. It could be messages. It could be travel here. You already got the um. What else you got? You got the Knight of Cups. That's traveling here. So clarify this eight of wands for Scorpio. Why is this here? Ooh, 
clarify the Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands is clarified by the Two of Pentacles here. So, like, I, I feel like this person is in their head because right here they're stuck. But over here they're trying to move towards you. I feel like I feel like this is what it is with whoever this person is. It's something in there. It's something in their energy that needs to be straightened out. I feel like they hold back because of their insecurities here, their mindset here. Because right here they coming in, right here they coming in. But right here, when it comes to initiating it, they 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 back to back and forth here. Oof. Clarify this Eight of Wands for Scorpio with this Two of Pentacles spirit. Clarify. Six of Wands here. So, <laughs> I feel like this person don't want to seem to... Now, either this person wants victory with you, Scorpio, this person recognizes something, or this person is on, on their high horse or... So this is what it is. If this person keep going back and forth, it's like this person is, especially if they come off as the king of swords, I feel like it's not easy for this person to open up. I feel like this person is, is full of, let me see, what's the word? Give me another card here for this eight of wands here. I feel like this person is too full of themselves or this person may have thought they was the shit. And now, it, maybe this person thought that they was a shit and they never had to express themselves. But now when it comes to Scorpio, they're having to lay it all out here. Now, it could be pride. It could be pride. It could be arrogance. It could be this person just think they the shit. But I feel like this is why the the the, the back and forth in, in, in their energy is like this. It's because this person here is too ashamed, too afraid. <laughs> Give me another card for this Eight of Wands. What's up with this eight of wands spirit? Look, the eight of wands. See, that's what I said. See, this person, I feel like this person, this person needs a transformation in their energy because they're already in this. I feel like this person insecurities. Now this person, I feel like this person is afraid to open up. And I feel like this person doesn't want to show this side of them. It, you, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, the six of wands is here, but they're juggling here. And I feel like the juggling is to, to communicate with you. It's like they got all this energy energetically coming towards you. But even then, energetically or physically, they may be appearing to be holding back from you. Just like I feel like you are too because they're, they're you can't figure them out. And because of the unknown with this person, because they're not opening up. But at the same time, energetically, all they do is think about you. All they fantasize do, all they do is think about is coming in, taking charge, and offering you their love because they feel like you could make them happy and they want to make you happy. And see, this person wants a whole relationship with you. See, it's like this person, is, whatever is, is holding this person back in this king of swords, this devil energy here. Even in this six of wands energy, because it could be that this person is full of themselves and they hate to, especially if they've been been quiet about their emotions all this time. It's like this person is afraid to open up. This person could be prideful here. This person could be prideful. This, they, especially if they're the emperor, they used to run this shit. They, you know, they, they don't know how to express this love to you because of themselves. It's something about them. But it's so crazy because, like I said, this person needs to do a major transformation in their life. And I feel like it is it is going to happen because you have this Ace of Swords here. So although they're, it's, it's, <laughs> they're trying to let you know that they dig in you, Scorpio, and it's so hard for them. Look, you got the Eight of, eight of Wands twice. But, but every time they get ready to send it out to you, they start overthinking things. They start feeling like, no, nah, I ain't going to do that. And I feel like it's because of this energy. It's something wrong with their energy that needs to heal. They need to get rid of this. They need to get rid of this. And I feel like being that the death card is here, which is your energy, that this person is going to have to end and transform their energy, their thinking, their thought process here. Especially if all the shit that they want with you, they're not going to get it like this. But this is what, and I feel like all they do is watch you. I feel like all they do is low-key stalk you here. But this person here, 
You see the eight of wands twice. Every time they want to get out and, and tell you how much they love you and how much they feeling you, they talk they self out of it. And then they start saying, I ain't got to do that shit. She, I, I ain't, she, well, why I got to do that? I mean, and then maybe they saying they, they, they wanted to be successful, but I don't feel like that's what they saying because I the two of pentacles is there. If that two of pentacles wasn't there, I would say that they coming in because they want a successful uh, conversation with you. But being that this two of pentacles is here, it's like this is a holdup for them because they keep going back and forth. And it could be that they think that they more than what they is. And I feel like they got, their ass is going to get broke down. Okay, that, that's what's going to They're going to get broke down because they tried to hide their emotions from you, but it's going to come out their ass anyway, Scorpio. And that's what I see. They can't hide from these emotions that they have for you because they're going through a transformation. They're going from cold and distance and withdrawn here to head, uh, hopelessly in love with Scorpio. And if they had someone else in the past, look, I feel bad for them because it looks like they focused on you. <laughs> Cause see, you got the ace of, ace of swords, ace of wands. You got the lovers card twice. You got the four of wands. You got the knight of cups, six of cups, the emperor, and the sun card. Not to mention these two eight of wands. So they trying to come. They, it's like they're trying to relay how they feel about you, but they don't want to seem. They don't want you to know that they're so. I feel like this person will call you. I feel like eventually this person will call you, but I feel like this person does not know how to word it because they don't want to look weak. This is what I'm looking for. Thank you, Spirit, with that six of wands. I feel like this person, obviously, they look at you as someone very high here. Or maybe this person's not used to opening up emotionally, especially if they're the king of swords here. They're not used to that. Like I say, they always can explain away everything. Every little detail, if you feel like you're in love, they're going to explain it away. They're going to come up with some logical reason why it's not love, okay? Okay. But when it comes to you, they can't explain it away. It's obvious. And I feel like every time they get ready to talk to you, they start overthinking it because they don't want to sound stupid and weak. They don't want to look weak because they already have, they feel like they already have this leverage by holding, by hiding how they feel. They feel like if they can hide how they feel, then they'll stay up on top. But as soon as they start opening up, then they feel like they're going to start looking weak. And then they can, they can become vulnerable. And this nine of wands could very well be them. But I noticed four of pentacles is you. This nine of wands is like they're wounded. But, you know, they're trying. But it's hard for them to try because of things that they've already been through here. Ooh, Scorpio. Now clarify this nine of wands for Scorpio. Nine of wands is clarified by the fool. See? They wounded. You got the, the full card twice. See? So you could have took a break from this person. This You got the four swords in the verse. If you took a time out with someone, this person don't like that. Because, <laughs> see, they wounded, but they still want you, though. But I feel like this person's trying to talk themselves in the gone and going for it. With this fool card, this is taking a leap of faith here. This is getting out of your comfort zone, setting your pride and your ego aside, and going for what you really want. And they want you, Scorpio. I'm telling you. Clarify this um, nine of wands. Could be dealing with the Aries. See? There's a lot of regret in their life. And I feel like there's a lot of regret in their life based on the choice that they've made in the past here. Choices that they've made in the past has them blocked and have them wounded. Even though they cannot, look, even though this person had, see, this person needs balance in their life. They need healing. This person needs an emotional healing because I always say, you know, it's one thing when a feminine gets hurt, she can heal, especially you, Scorpio, but everybody else not in tune with their emotions like this, especially if they're uh, this, this type of energy detached. See, you, you have, you have what you need from within, but I feel like this person's not tapped into that spiritual side. So this person is regretting all of the choices they made in the past here, taking leaps of faith, you know, being risque is, you know, going in things blindly here, uh, very childlike and ignorant has really cost them a lot here. But even then, Scorpio, they're still trying to come into you. Yeah, they may have a lot of regret, but I feel like this person still wants to try it out with you because they already got it set out here. They don't want to hit it. Yeah, they find you beautiful and attractive and all those things. 
but they always also see you as commitment material. You're someone who makes this person feel loved and safe, that they can be themselves, that they can heal. You make this person feel balanced here. You could also be dealing with the Sagittarius here. Clarify this nine of wands. This person say they didn't found home here. See? So this person feels like they they got a lot of confusion going on in their life, Scorpio. And it's because of, see, this person got their heart broke. See? This person got done wrong because the justice card is in reverse, even though I'm not taking reverse. So this could be a Libra with this king of swords. See, this, this king of swords got hurt in the past. With it being in the reverse, they the ones got dog bad. It was no reciprocity. They didn't get no fairness. They, they the ones got done wrong. So this person has gotten their heart broken before, Scorpio. And it came from them taking leaps of faith and going in things blindly and childlike here. So this is why the hesitation with this person, this is why they're emotionally and mentally, energetically going back and forth. And it's so ironic because even though they can't seem to make up their mind, their energy is all on you. They can't get you off of their mind. It's just that they're afraid. <laughs> Oh, Scorpio, they're afraid. Even though they want, they want to give you the world, they are so afraid. Now, clarify this other lovers for Scorpio. You got Gemini here twice. Clarify the lovers for Scorpio. The lovers is clarified by Eight of Cups. Now, somebody's walking away from a lover here now. Either, Scorpio, you've walked away from this person, or maybe they walked away from you, but... Somebody walked away, because like I say, you got two lovers card. This lovers is yours. They want this with you. Now, this could be them walking away emotionally from another connection, because they too tied into you with this devil card here. Ooh, Scorpio. Clarify the lovers for Scorpio. Could have walked away from a Gemini. Six of swords. See, somebody's walking away from something because they need peace. Or it could be this person choosing to be with you. Here's, oh, this person going to get the courage to come to you. Look, they go that eight of swords, ace of swords, because I feel like this person fell stuck because they were overthinking things. I feel like this is an air sign here, Scorpio, because I see a lot of swords. This is either a Gemini, Aquarius, or a Libra here. See, this person, and see, ooh, Scorpio, seems like this person... Whoever they were with, because I feel like they were with someone else, but they're choosing you now. Why? Because they done messed around and fell in love with you, Scorpio. And now they don't, they're not even emotionally invested in the other partner that they had. They're thinking about they want to leave them. They're leaving them. It's like as soon as they can get their courage up, they coming in here to you. Cause see, like I say, this is the problem right here. Two of Pentacles and communication. See, they go, to, they go to Ace of Swords. You got the Ace of Swords twice. See, this person's about to have a breakthrough because it seems like wherever they were at, it was not, it, it wasn't, see, they felt stuck there. I feel like they were with a lover that they felt stuck and trapped with. And they was not stuck, but I feel like this person didn't have a reason to end it because they hadn't met you. But when they met you, now they realize that they don't want this now that they can do better, and obviously that they wasn't getting the love, I, I can't say. But with the cards here, <laughs> I feel like your person is doing it. I feel like your person is guilty. <laughs> your person is the one that's guilty of messing up their own happy home because it seems like they done stepped out of a relationship that they were no longer happy in, and now they done fell in love with you, Scorpio. Now they, now they want to leave. They want to leave whoever they with. Cause they're no longer trapped anymore. They're gonna have a breakthrough. I'm telling you, they're finna end that shit. Ooh. Now let's see what they watching when they what's going on with this page of swords. Now this could be a lot of communication. This could be a lot of talk going on. This could be someone trying to find out about you too, Scorpio. And it could very well be them just stalking your ass, Scorpio. It's something like every time they watch you, they want to reach out to you, but then they start they start overthinking things once again here. So clarify this page of swords for Scorpio. Page of swords is the page of cups. See? So this is a question. See, this person could be, <laughs> this person could be watching you and talking to you, especially if you got some type of social media platform. They may have been talking. So this person is watching you. They're trying to figure you out because they're trying to come to you. 
when this person sees you, they see a very beautiful, confident, beautiful. See, they, they turned on by you. See, this person want a commitment with you. And they finna leave somebody in the freaking cold. Ooh, who they had this with. See, this person had a long-term relationship, Scorpio. But they finna leave them in the cold. That's who they finna leave, this other lover. See, because, see, the end and see, there it is. And see, they finna do a major transformation in this ending here. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. That's what they finna do. That's what I see too, Scorpio. Because see, when they look at you, they they, <laughs> they say that you're just so freaking beautiful and so confident. This is why this person is scared to reach out to you. Because even though they get the love vibes from you, they already, they, they like how you handle yourself. Ooh, Scorpio, they finna leave somebody out on the cold for you. Ooh, Scorpio. All right, now clarify this Queen of Cups, which is Scorpio. Clarify the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups is the Six of Cups. There they go again. I said, there they go again. I'm telling you, you're all on this person's mind. You all in their freaking DNA, Scorpio. <laughs> Whoever they was with don't stand a chance now because they can't get you off of their mind. Ain't that some shit, Scorpio? See, it's a, see, they can't get you off of their mind to the point where whoever they was with, this other lover has become a burden to them. I'm telling you. It's that, see, this is why they're leaving this other lover because it become a burden to them because once they had a taste of Scorpio's love, now that that's all they want is Scorpio. See, Scorpio, you may have not known that your, your cup was very, very highly addictive. But it seemed like this person done found out. They was like, how come didn't nobody tell me that Scorpio was addictive? Now, I got, now I'm running around here like a Scorpio junkie. <laughs> they, they like a Scorpio love junkie for your love, Scorpio. I'm telling you, they didn't let, they didn't. <laughs> it's like, you. what's that song, Heart of Night? Like, hey, baby, put your mom on the phone. Uh, 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 Jill, uh, I ain't never coming home. <laughs> it's like, they ain't never coming back. No, you can make me. Scorpio, they ain't never going back. See, this is who they coming back to. This is who they can't seem to get off of their mind day in and day out. Now, if you done been intimate with this person, Scorpio, you got this person nose wide open. Because like I say, they can't get you off of their mind for a reason. It's a burden to them. Because I feel like this person ain't getting no work done. Now, Scorpio, look, 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 look at the problems you done caused. It's a burden with this person. They not even productive on their job no more because they too busy thinking about that Scorpio love. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Clarify this Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. <laughs> See, there it go. <laughs> Ace of Pentacles twice. I'm telling you, they want, look, Ace of Pentacles to who? The Queen of Cups. <laughs> why? Because they find you beautiful and sexy and attractive. This is why you got the Ace of Wands right here. But see, like I say, they hold you in high regards. They're not just trying to come in here and hit it. They're trying to build something with you. With this Ace of Swords, Ace of Wands, Lover's Card, or the Four of Wands and the Lover's Card. See? Oh, they got a lot of attraction to you. See? Because this is how they see you. On a sexual, intimate level, they got a lot of attraction. They want to wife you down. They want to settle down with you. And they come in. So if they did anything, they come come back in and make it up to you. With this Ace of Pentacles, they may be trying to buy you out. Scorpio, like, here, baby, go on, take this house. Go on, take this, y'all. Go on, take this, baby. I feel like it's a big opportunity. See, like I say, this person might be wanting y'all to move in together. You see this four wands, take it to the next level. Ooh, Scorpio, they ended it with somebody and they want to move in with you together. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh, Scorpio, that's a scandal. Ooh, because they got a lot of passion for you. They don't see nobody else. They don't even want the person who they had anyway. They don't want them. Ooh. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio. See, you got another Ace of Pentacles. You got two Aces of Pentacles here. Two Ace of Pentacles. Two Lovers card. Two Eight of One. Let me show you the twos that you got. You got two Four Pentacles. 
Let me just tell you because I don't want to get messed up. You got two four of pentacles. You got two eight of wands. You got two lovers. And you have two queen of cups. This person, that's all they can think about is how that cup hit, Scorpio. As well as the two six of cups. I forgot the six of cups. Two six of cups. They making their presence known. They coming back, God dang it. They coming back for you. So if there's been some type of disconnect, if you took a break from this person because it got to be, maybe this person, you, like I say, with this four of pentacles, the moon card, and the king of swords, I feel like you feel like this person was too risky because you couldn't read them. You didn't want to figure this person's emotions out when they were hiding them and they were not, you know, they wasn't readily, their emotions wasn't on the surface. You didn't want to figure out what the hell, how they feel. But they ain't got over you. They coming back. Or this is just a strong spiritual connection here. You got the two, you got two, and as well as the two aces of pentacles. See? This person is serious with you, Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio, it's almost scandalous because they leaving whoever they had, whoever they was with. They don't want them no more. They done messed around and drunk out of Scorpio's cup. See, you should have gave them a disclaimer. Clarify this Ace of Pentacles for Scorpio. Ace of Pentacles, Eight of Swords here. So I feel like this person's overthinking it because they know they want to be happy with you. This person keeps overthinking it. I'm telling you, this person has, this person got it bad. They keep overthinking things. See, well, now all they got to do is just do it. Spirit said this person got everything they need. This person is well equipped with everything. I feel like this person is very, very successful. I feel like they're highly intelligent. They can make it happen. They just keep overthinking things. And this is because they need to do some shadow work. They need to get out of this energy, and it could be that they're attached to somebody else too. But th th this is what has them overthinking things and feeling stuck. One or two things, either, either it's their mindset or it's because they're still with someone else. Now, they could still be with someone's. Now, this is it too. They, and they could be with a queen of swords. Now, this person could be with someone physically, but emotionally not there. See, because all their emotions is on you, and you don't even know it because they're hiding it. Why are they hiding it? Because I feel like they may already have someone that they're not in, that they're not investing emotionally with. Why? Because they didn't mess around and they didn't fell in love with you. Ooh, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Ooh. See, but this person got everything they need if they want you, Scorpio. And I feel like they coming. They're coming for you, Scorpio. Let me put some more energy. Like I say, you got the full card here underneath the bottom of this deck here. Spirit, what else for Scorpio? What else does Scorpio need to know about this person? This magnificent love offer coming towards Scorpio Spirit. What does Scorpio need to know? The cups, there they go. They coming in here to offer their cup of love to you, Scorpio. And the reason why it's a night is because this is a big step for this person, Scorpio. It's not easy for them to open up emotionally, I'm telling you. But you have awakened something in this person. It's the spiritual connection with this person, Scorpio. I'm telling you, this is what it is. Give me some more energy. Ten of Swords here. I feel like <laughs> Scorpio, they go to Magician card. This person finna man, they finna make it happen. This person know all. Uh, this person is willing to risk it all. I'm telling you, cause they know if they come into you, they gonna do somebody else wrong, Scorpio. But they willing to do it, cause like I say, you got the full card. The full card is the energy. They they willing to take this risk. Ooh, Scorpio, cause they already know that they can make it happen. Mm -mm. The Empress, so that's what it is. Some of y'all dealing with a Libra or a, a Taurus here. So <laughs> if they looking at you, see, they see, <laughs> see, Scorpio, see, 
This person ain't playing with you. They waiting on you. This person got their eye on you, Scorpio. I'm telling you, this person got it bad for you. This person, this is why this person keeps on uh, holding back and keep on going in and out of should I, should not. It's because you're this. They've never met any, they've never had such a strong connection with anyone with such high, high ranking here. They look at you like you are everything. There goes the chariot card again. Because see, with this energy, they're wanting to commit with you. See, it's the same energy. See, the uh, queen of wands with the high, uh, higher fence. See, they love every, every aspect about you. Because after all, all they do is watch you. I feel like all they do is watch you. If they're not watching you, they're talking about you. They, This person could be online looking you up. But this person is gathering information about you some kind of way. And they know that they find you beautiful and attractive. They find you confident. So I feel like this person is watching you because they know that you're confident here. And they're moving forward to you because they want a commitment with you because they find you so beautiful and attractive here. Once again, they see your worth. This is why this person is not just trying to come in here and hit it. They're trying to come in here and build a whole relationship with the Scorpio. This is what they're coming in here to do, Scorpio. This person has is waiting. They see a future with you. They're looking at in your direction. And they're on it's only a matter of time with this person, Scorpio, because of this. Some of y'all dealing with a Taurus, a Pisces, a, 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 a Libra, or a Cancer here. And some of y'all dealing with the Leo. They go that sun card again. See, they know who make them happy, Scorpio. It's like you're intimidating to this person and you're pushing this person out of their comfort zone. If this person's finna risk it all just to be happy with you, Scorpio. Because right now, with them not being able to talk to you, it's driving them crazy because they're not happy. I feel like... I feel like if this person did have somebody else, it was not, it wasn't a strong connection like they have with you. And now that they've met you, now they're not even trying to invest in the other person. They're not happy now, Scorpio. This person not happy because all they think about is how good you make them feel when they're in your presence. See, it's like when they go back home, it's dead. Don't nobody want to pop the cot. Don't nobody want to smoke one. Don't nobody want to drink nothing. Don't nobody want to listen to no music. Don't nobody want to do shit. But when they get around you, it's different, Scorpio. Ooh, that's what they want. They not happy where they at, but they love your energy, though, Scorpio. Ooh. You know they love how you, you know they love your energy because you also the queen of wands. They they love how you're so fun and how you take action here, Scorpio. Ooh. Mm -mm. See, but this person I already know that they doing something they ain't got no business doing, but they can't help it. <laughs> see this? Cause see what you done did to somebody. They already know that they doing something wrong, but they can't help themselves. I'm telling you. See, this person, this person is wanna either this person is looking at you from a distance, sneaking and looking at you, or this person already know that they're gonna have to end this cycle with somebody. This person already know they're doing something wrong, but they don't care, Scorpio. They want you. They I feel like they should have never met you, Scorpio. And then they would have been just fine, Scorpio. But now you finna make this person come out of their comfort zone. You finna make this person go through a major transformation here, Scorpio, and which is gonna cause this person to have a major breakthrough in their life. Cause I feel like this is what they needed, especially if they're used to being in the King of Swords energy with this Four of Pentacles. Ooh, Scorpio. Give me a couple more cards for Scorpio spirit. Look, this is what they want with you, the Ten of Pentacles. That's what they want. <laughs> That's what they're going to get with you too, Scorpio. I'm telling you, this person want a long-term relationship with you. I feel like who else, see? <laughs> Look at that ace of wands. I'm telling you, this person is trying to build it all with you. They're not trying to come in here and take advantage of you. They know your worth. They respect you, Scorpio. It's just that either this person has, has got a mental problem, they overthink things, or this person is in a relationship that they're not happy in, and now it's really about to... Mess with their whole life because they didn't they didn't get a hold of the forbidden uh fruit of Scorpio because now they want to give it all to you now, Scorpio. Ooh, see, this person gonna get the courage. This person, I'm telling this person, I feel like this person's been.
been trying to hold back their lust for you too, Scorpio. Especially with the Ace of Wands and the Lover's card. They've been trying to, but at the same time, this person's going to get the courage and come on in and make it happen. So if you, you may not be talking to this person right now, Scorpio. Give me one more card for Scorpio Spirit. Pull some Angel card messages. Look, Big Daddy, see? I've told you this person, this person has money, Scorpio. This is a well-established person here. This is why I say this person trying to give you everything, Scorpio. They're, tr they're, they're financially stable. This person has a lot of good things going on with their life. This is why I feel like this person keeps this game face on. It's because they have to. They, they deal with a lot of different people here, and they can't be all emotional and all over the place. Now this person is very mature, very intelligent, and they know how to properly run a business. And this is why this person is success, successful, Scorpio. But I'm telling you, somebody finna get their heart broke, Scorpio. And I don't think it's you. I think it's the third party who they're with. And it could be this person is still having negative thoughts because of something that happened in their past with the devil card in the three of swords. But I feel like this person's going to make up their mind about the lover that they're with. See, they, they don't want that. Because like I say, somebody going to get hurt. It's not you. Because they're coming in to give you everything. See, they're going to complete this cycle with them. I told you. They know this person's going to get hurt, but, but they, they can't help it. They, this person's really realizing, damn, I'm going to have to do something. I, 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 Scorpio ain't going to take me any up. Look, they got their four ones again. See? It was peeking out at me, so I had to take it. Ooh, Scorpio. Let me pull you some angel answers real quick, Scorpio. Let's see what is the possible outcome of this connection here. All right, Spirit. What is the possible at, uh, outcome for Scorpio and this person's energy, Spirit? What is the possible outcome, Spirit, for Scorpio and this person? In this beautiful... It's a beautiful... Look... <laughs> I know this person got somebody else, but I'm just saying it's still beautiful. At least they ain't trying to use you and abuse you. No, they trying to give you the freaking world, Scorpio. Now, you know any other time they coming in here trying to get your goodies and going on about their biz, but this person trying to be with you forever, forever, ever. It's something about your love, Scorpio, that they, they can't get over, honey. So if you was intimate with this person, you got this person nose wide open. And now this person's like, damn, they didn't they didn't bit off of the forbidden fruit. And now whoever they got at home is gonna catch hell. Yep, I'm telling you. I feel like that cycle that may not have anything to do with you. I feel like this is something that this person should have been ended with, whoever they're with. Because it has them in their head here. Spirit says remain positive about this person, Scorpio. Remain positive because big happy changes are coming. But you're going to have to believe. And if you want this mother's uh, lover, Spirit say it's up to you. Because if you want them, then yes, you can have them. And some of this could happen within a few weeks. Because this person finna get out their ass and they finna be very, very assertive to you, Scorpio. Yep, yeah, that's what I see. Spirit say you can have them if you want them, Scorpio. Because they finna be assertive. They finna start chasing you now, Scorpio. But Spirit say you got to stay optimistic. Remain positive because you got big happy changes coming, Scorpio. All right, Scorpio. This is what I have for you. If this video resonates, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell, Scorpio. Leave me a comment. I love each and every one of you, Scorpios. Thank you so, so much. And I'll talk to you on the next Scorpio video. Let me hold this up here. So y'all can see on my thumbnail. Let's see. Where she at? Let, let, let me get the diva in this thing. See? Everybody can't handle that Empress Kitty, Scorpio. Or that Emperor Love. This is what they coming in to give you. They finna give you a happily ever after. They finna come in and be with you forever. Alright, Scorpio. I'll talk to you next video. Bye.